Hello and welcome back to another J-Rock video. Today what we're going to be talking about is height of cut. Okay, so with this I'm going to be covering three different heights. Uh, what is going to be 18mm, 25mm and 32mm. I'll get the conversions up there on the screen. Basically, what I'm going to be talking about is why you might want to cut at these heights, which ones I prefer personally, which ones I cut at currently and what I think looks the best. Pros and cons, that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to go through today. All I want to quickly show you is how the lawn's currently looking. Um, I'll do all this today on the back garden and I might do it on the front as well, but just not talk over that side. Um, but yeah, and then we'll put it forward and we'll see what it looks like. So I'll switch over now and I'll show you the condition of the back garden. Right, so I have just given it a quick trim there along the borders. So what I'm going to be doing, like I say, is these three stripes. I'm going to go double width, furthest towards the gravel, a 25mm cut dead centre, and to the left of that, roughly down here, will be a double cut at 32mm. This is probably just long enough um, to get that 32mm cut in. Tried it the other day, and it was literally taking the bare minimum off. But we'll do it, and hopefully with it being such a beautiful day like today we should be able to see the stripes pretty well so we'll definitely see the difference in them three uh, height of cuts let's see what happens <music> Right, so what we have here is the 18 millimeters on the right. As I said, what I think you can't see as much. Here we've got the 25 mil. What to me with the sun behind looks so much better. And on the end, apologies for the shadow covering, but this is the 32 mil here. And I honestly think you can see this middle one the best. This 25 mil. Looking over the three of them right there. From here, what I'll do is we'll go into the front and I'll try and get it again but this time without a shadow. <laughs>
Right, so again, that's our three heights done there. 80 mil from left, working up to 32 mil on the right. This 80 mil actually worked out really well. Looks nice, tight and tidy. But I end up with these little brown spots everywhere, these little patches. So really, it just stresses the lawn a bit too much for me. I just don't think it's level enough. But it does look nice and tidy. The next one is 25 mil, and this is what my usual height of cut. Uh, it seems to do well in the heat and it stays nice strong and healthy so that's probably my preferred and as you can see the stripes are sticking out really well then the last set of doubles i've got up here is a 32 mil and to be honest they look really good uh, i've never cut this height really before for a long period of time but it's just a bit too shaggy for me it's i'm not a fan of it um but the 18 mil bit too short 25 mil for me is just perfect and as i'll move from here I'm going to choose to stick at 25mm, like I say, that's my personal preference, I like it best. So I'm going to carry on here and do one last whip around at 25mm. Right, so that's us going over the back and front garden there. Um, the things to notice was the effects that it has. So what I find with 18 millimeters, as you'll see on the front garden more than the back, but it really took it down too low for my garden. Now I understand that within time, bringing it down, you can do that comfortably and you can get your grass used to that. And that's absolutely fine. Like I used to cut on set in three, what was 15 millimeters. Um, I used to cut in that for two months uh, and, and the cut was fine and it was brilliant but uh, it was lacking the stripes so that's a con with it really. Um, the 25 mil, so that's what I finished up on in the end on the front and back and for me that's just the happy medium really. So if you're wanting it to look neat, tidy and maintainable, all that sort of stuff but also have really good stripes, I mean that's helping as well with the sun that we had obviously coming in behind best way to get a picture by the way um but that's how i find that the look the best the pop the best however you want to call it um and then the 32 that i had on the far left hand side on the back garden and the far right hand side on the front garden for me you can see the stripes really well happy days but for my garden with the undulation that it has stuff like that and the way the different grasses grow because my grass my garden isn't perfect it's still got a mix of grasses in there um, I find that it just looks a bit messy still um, and I understand more in America I've seen than anywhere else or someplace Australia but people grow their grass up to three inches what I think is mad um, whereas we're sitting around the inch three quarters of an inch sort of era around at 25 mil so my overall diagnostic let's call it on what height you should cut your lawn at cut your grass at is 25 mil anywhere between 20 and 30 millimeters now the pros of this is it's going to be maintainable it's going to look neat and it's going to stripe really well also what will happen what's massive pro is in these hotter months obviously depending on the type of grass you have it's going to handle it a whole lot better if you don't have a like a showroom lawn let's call it and you're cutting down 15 mil you're probably going to notice it dry out quite a bit unless you're all over it and like I say it's an ornamental lawn then happy days 10 to 15 mil you might be able to get away with but what I suggest is if you've got your kids running around on it you like to cut a couple of times a week or whatever it might be and you want it to still look good I would say cut it at 25 mil it'll handle the sun and what it'll also do keeping it that little bit longer is it'll actually outgrow weeds but 25 mil seems to be the sweet spot the magic number thank you very much for watching please go across onto my channel, check that out. Uh, if you haven't already, have a look at my Instagram. I'm always updating on there. That's J underscore R underscore Lawn Care. And that's on Instagram. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care. ta -ra.